Hi, I'm Taylor. Um, I'm here at Gentleman Rose getting a haircut by Darren. Okay, bro. Number one, low taper, mm -hmm. uh, and then blend it all out. Yeah. Loads of texture yeah. through the top, yeah. and then uh, slightly up to one side. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, no skin fade today. Awesome. Going to go straight in with a closed one and the old uh, wall magic clippers. So we're going from a one to quite a heavy, heavy haircut on the top. So I want to go in and out, fan it out. So we're going in nice and low. So I'm taking some weight out above the line I created. So it's easier to make that blend. Right, some people would have worked on that line straight away, but then you still got that weight above it, so you still have to take that away. So what I do is I take the weight away. I can see where I'm going with the haircut, and then I can just soften up this line when I need to. Angling the, angling the comb up and away, so it's got the shape of the head. Still get to keep the shape of the haircut. We're just going to go in and just take that line out. And we finish taking the weight out from the side. So we're taking the weight away with the clippers. Going scissor over comb now. Thanks. See ya. Nice to see you, mate. Later. Take care. I'm going just to take out that little tiny bit of line. Yeah, exactly. What are you guys on next? Alright. Soften up that blend. The only thing about going <laughs> in a low fade is, or a low blend, there's not a lot of room to get that, that softness in there. Whereas if you were doing a, you know, yeah. Is it? I mean, complete fade from here to here. You've got all this area to make the blend, whereas you've only got literally this area to make that blend. You get it from a one up to a full head of hair. So it's about angling, angling the scissor out, angling the comb out, so that you you work really steeply away from the haircut. You work on a steep incline away from the hair, haircut. Oh, yeah. You can create the shape and the softness that you're looking for. So you start to see that. It's a bit random. You do look like shape. Okay, so we soften up all the edges. In that nice little blend in. You do it all dry. I've done in previous haircuts. So you do it dry. Oh, you really see the way that the hair falls. You can see the shape more. Um, when it's wet, it just lays flat to the head and you really can't see the shape. So, it's not great for the scissors. I tend to go through, tend to go through more scissors to cut in dry hair, but it's, uh, it's worth it. The overall look. So I've taken the uh, center section. What I do is go take the side part in Pick up the side and the top and connect the two. Get a bit of hair from the side, a bit of hair from the top. And I find this short point, short point. So the short point is the side, the short point is the length of the top, and in between is the weight I want to get rid of. Short point, short point. Get rid of the weight, and when you comb it down, that means you're not taking any more length away from the haircut on the top or on the sides unnecessarily. So you can see that it just sits the same.
and expectations. He is a good looking guy. What? Got a receding hairline. <laughs> so we've connected the sides to the top. Really, really textured. You can see all the texture through there. The hair just breaks up. How much of the length do you want to keep on the front? Um, maybe a half. Is that half an inch? Yeah, half an inch. Okay. So it'll always bounce up a little bit when it's dry. When I cut it wet, so. I'll go in and be conservative how much I cut off. Yeah, oh, cows look as well. So yeah, notice got that. Got cover on so it's got a cow's look in there. So the hairline yeah, comes the up and around. It bounces up when it's dry. Yeah. So that's why it comes over this side. So you've got to be really careful not to take too much weight out of this front area. If you make this feel really light, and you raised it or you took the <laughs> weight out of it. Thin it is, what would happen is it would separate and it would and it would it would just do that. That's a weird place to have a car like my cousin has as well. And one on each side. It's yeah. Each side. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna cut the angle across the palm of my hand. Short in that point, long in that point, so I work at that angle. Hold my hand and the scissor at the same angle that I want the haircut to go. I want to drop it down, I can see I've cut it slightly shorter from this side. I've gone down at that angle. Come back in, take that little bit of length up there, and I've cut an angle perfectly, it goes across. All right, so by holding your hand in the position that you want the angle to be, so I held my hand, the hair comes this way, I hold my hand that way, and I cut in the direction that I want the hair to go. When I let go, it falls down. Rather than cutting it all on the face, when I cut it away from the face, I get a slight bit of graduation. So it looks a bit softer. Because if I went in and just blunt cut that, it looked really hard and I'd have to take ages taking all the weight out of it. Instead, if you hold it up like that, you get graduation because you're holding it away from the hair. How do you know? The hair away from the hairline. So I'm going to keep this little corner bit for now. Just take a little tiny bit of the edge off. And then you notice I'm holding my scissors and my and my fingers that way. That's the direction I want the hair to fall in. When I let go, that's the direction the hair falls in. I'm not surprised about where it goes. I don't cut it and then go, oh, I didn't expect it to do that. I cut it with intention. And that's what you know when we do any education it's called you know, cutting with intention you know exactly what's going to be the outcome of that when i put it down i know where it's going to lay so what i'm going to do to your hair charlie i'm going to cut it with intention cutting it with intention so i can see probably enough length in front there's loads of texture in there the only way to check that texture is to dry it off so we'll dry it off um, Maybe go through with a texturizer to see what it looks like. Yeah. So I always use I use a no nozzle, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we do a thing called wrap drying. Wrap drying. You sing and sing. You wrap while you dry. So I'm cutting my hair and yeah, oh yeah. No, not doing that. No, pop smurfing. do just to add a little bit more texture to the top okay so I'm going to take random sections of hair that I feel look a little bit too heavy still so I take sections of hair that have got weight in them twist it around our fingers and with a pair of thinning shears just tip at the top cut it out Go in, twist it, 
and then cut through the twist. And when you open it up, what you've done is you've cut small sections from one bit, more sections from another bit. It makes it really, 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 really textured. You go through and you just pick up hair, twist it around, go in at an angle. Because the hair is all going in different directions when you twist it out, then you do a straight cut through something that's twisted up. So then you're getting lots of different directions going through a main section of hair. Oh yeah, get one of those up ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then come in. Just further through that front. Remembering that you've got the cowlick through this side. You don't want to take too much weight out of it. Breaks up loads then. Well booked, Dave. I was a solid effort. That was brilliant. Going in with a wallpaper. What's that one else, what about uh, West Ham again? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good I'm a bit jealous, I'm not going to lie. Talking about the, uh, no, he's asking uh, if I go around all the barber yeah, shops. The Great Fire of London started in London, mate. Started me. Makes sense. Mm. Mm. So going to call it the Great Fire. He's so smart, man, for a five foot, for a five foot 106 smart. year old man. <laughs> Well, I've picked up the noise. Smurf, right? Smurf, Smurf. Well, that's Smurf. I've picked up all that noise, haven't I, mate? All the, yeah. All these generations of people that have passed through my hands. Passed through my bow. <laughs> <laughs>